Hi, I'm Joel Stoner. Uh, a couple months ago, I bought a tenor sax on Amazon, and I bought this uh, Hercules brand saxophone holder, uh, sax stand, uh, and it's great. Um, it's uh, this little piece is adjustable, so it works with a tenor or alto. Uh, to collapse it, you press these little um, spring-loaded things, uh, and it will fall down. Uh, same with the stands, the feet, uh, and it came with. Um, it came with this flute peg, um, which you can also use for a clarinet. Uh, you can unscrew that if you need to, but I'm not going to do that for now. And it's really easy to uh, uncollapse. Uh, and this stand was about $55, which seemed like a lot. Um, but, you know, the reviews said, you know, get, get the good one. It's worth the extra money for the Hercules. Um, so after I started playing the tenor, I was thinking, you know what, I want to get uh, my old alto sax out, uh, and I realized I needed another stand. Uh, so I thought I would try this uh, Lolo nut stand. Uh, came just in this bag, uh, and this is the opening of it. I haven't seen it before. Uh, but one thing about it is it looked um, cosmetically very much like the Hercules. So it's kind of a, a knockoff, if you will. Um, scissors. And, you know, the reviews did say that it's made of a thinner metal, uh, but it was also about half the price. So let's see. It's got the same kind of construction with the little push-button spring-loaded things. Uh, it is a little flimsier, say that. But, <laughs> yeah, definitely flimsier. But I think it will work, and might have been worth it to save the 20 bucks. It's not going to... I think I'm going to have to uh, stick this in a vise. This leg is definitely loose, uh, and maybe I need to clamp down on some of these bolts a little bit. Um, but even in its clumsy... Uh, sorry. Even in its uh, kind of loose state, I think it's going to be strong enough to put my alto in it. Well, yeah, needs. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully this is uh, a manufacturing thing. It's something that I can fix because I'm, I'm a tool guy. Uh, it just needs to be brought in tighter there and then have the nut screwed on. So, um, it's flimsier. Um, the workmanship is not as good as the Hercules. Um, it's definitely lighter weight. You can see the yellow metal. I don't know if you can, but the, the yellow metal is thinner on this one, on the low low neck. But ultimately, I think it's going to work. I just got to tighten that up a little bit. Um, and then it is just as easy uh, to collapse. Uh, this one did not come with any other pegs. Uh, also, there's no holes in the feet to put one in, but if you have a drill, you can drill a hole if you want to put uh, a peg uh, on this one. Uh, so that's that. It is flimsier. I think it's okay. Uh, it's lighter weight. That can be good. Comes in a bag, uh, and it was, uh, I think, $23, so a um, little less than half the price. Uh, I think it's going to work. Um, so there you go. There's the Hercules versus the Lolo Nut saxophone stands. Check them out. Quick follow-up, I just got back from my shop, um, and all I had to do was tighten these screws right here with a 10 millimeter socket wrench, uh, and the whole thing is now much sturdier. Um, and I feel better now about putting my Alto on it. And so it does have a little play here, uh, but it's not gonna tilt left or right, and it's not gonna go any further forward or backward. So although it feels a little scary, um, it's, it's safe enough to hold it. There's, it's not going to move forward and it's not going to move backward. So that's the follow-up. Oh, just by comparison, let's see. Here it is on the Hercules. The Hercules also has some play in it, forward and backward. Um, but there it is. You know what? I'm going to grab my tenor. I'll be right back. I'm going to leave my alto here. All right, this is the tenor that I got the stand for originally. 
And uh, oh, no, I did search for an alto sax stand. This is the the Lolo one, Lolo nut one. Uh, and uh, it said that it would hold a tenor or an alto. This is a tenor, and it doesn't really fit on the bell of a tenor. Um, well, it does. You just gotta you gotta put it in here, and then rest it down to the inside. And then a little note: uh, this part of the tenor is actually touching this metal bit right here. So I have to say I wouldn't really recommend this as a tenor sax stand, although it works. Uh, it's just a little bit uh, hard to get it in and out. <clears throat> so let's see, I'm gonna put the alto on it. That works. And then the tenor does fit nicely onto the uh, Hercules. So anyway, now I've got two stands uh, for my saxophones. Over and out.